Hey guys, so I'm working on a song here and I kind of created a length of just raw samples, just dicking around with a synth for, you know, 10, 15 minutes. And then I went and cut out the good bits. But now what I want to do, certain sounds, I want to EQ individually in different ways, uh, which is kind of a pain in the ass to do on one track if you want uh, different things to be affected differently. And as you can see, if you go into a clip, you can't really edit any of the effects except for, uh, except for volume and you know some basic stuff. So here's a quick trick uh, to help with that issue. Let me see if that's, uh... now I'm gonna come here so what I've done is I dragged in a couple effects that I know I'll probably use and I just set them to a default. So by default, I'm doing a, a low cut here below 124 hertz. Um, and I like this, uh, I think it's called Sinoid field Fold or something like that. Uh, and I like the little bit of dirt that it adds. So I'll just leave that like that. If I want to increase the drive, I can do that as well. But once again, we don't really have that option individually here. So what we need to do is uh, just grab all of these and then I'm doing a control X just to cut it there. And then uh, let's see what track are we, 31. So I'll jump into 31 here, and I'll just paste them all in. Now as I go, I have my effects here that I can deal with, so each clip can be dealt with individually as far as different settings and, and things like that. I try to keep it basic, you know, I'm not adding reverb or delay to the sounds because I'll, I'll end up adding that later. So um, I like to keep them somewhat dry. So I'll just go in to each sound here. And let me take a listen here. Oh, let me just solo this. So that'll probably be some sort of a loop. So I'll just uh, loop this here. And uh, saturator doesn't need anything more. I'll experiment here with the uh, the filter frequency of the first. And since I already know that it's a high pass, all I got to do is just kind of move this up and down to get the right setting. Cool, so that one there is done and I can just go on to the next one. Cool. So this one here, I'll wanna go into the volume. I think that's in, no, that's in clip. You don't wanna go into the mixer volume uh, because if you add any effects, it's going to lower the volume on that clip and the effect won't carry over, so better to deal with your volume in the clip. And I'll just do simple like such and such. Maybe a little bit of a slower decay and so forth. So you'll go into each of these and uh, you could affect each of these individually and everything else will conform to this as a default. So everything's gonna run through this setting unless you change it. And so then I'll go through each of these samples. Finally, what I'll do is I'll right click and freeze the track. 
and then I'll flatten the track so that way it just makes everything that's been applied into a separate audio track. And then all I got to do is just uh, copy this back over to here and I've got all my edited samples all EQ'd separately and everything. So that's my quick tip for the day. Um, just a solution that I came up with that uh, solves a current problem that I'm running into. So uh, there you go. Hope it helps.